Hello and welcome back to the official Radio Caroline YouTube channel. We're in the Ross Revenge here on the River Blackwater and I'm going to show you a part of the ship that uh, you don't see if you come out as a visitor. The reason why is because it's the cabin, so it's our private area. And that's why you see when you come to the stairs, this here sign. Nothing secret, but anyway, we're going to go down the stairs and reveal all, well almost all anyway. Right, here we are down in the depths of the Ross Revenge. All of this corridor that you don't see when you come aboard is uh, full of cabins and they're all, well mostly one man cabins, but uh, some of them are two. But because uh, there's a few of us on when we do the Caroline North weekends, we all have a cabin each. If you want to come this way, I will show you what they actually look like. And they're very spacious. Some people think uh, cabins on boats are very small, but very spacious. And uh, there's a table in here. You've got drawers, all of that, where you can keep the personal belongings and stuff. Speakers so we can hear the radio station. Obviously, we've got them off at the moment, but it's an internal monitor. And the bunk itself, you won't be falling out of this. And there's more than enough room for, when I'm on board, for Bella and myself up here. Bella, by the way, in case you don't know, is my little weird pet dog. So, lovely, very comfortable. Obviously, radio as well, so we've got heating and taps as well with and a lot of people say do you have running water there we go running water how's that so yeah very spacious very nice and you know we don't spend a lot of time down here mostly sleeping because uh, we tend to mingle up in the mess room but uh, this is one of the cabins we'll show you another one in a moment Okay, this cabin that I'm going to show you was uh, when we were on board with Radio Monique, this was mostly used by uh, the Dutch as a two-man cabin, uh, but we're using it at the moment as if we need it, we're using it as a cabin, but also some uh, storage space as well, because as you can see, it is rather large. In fact, the largest cabin on the boat. And what the Dutch did when they were here on board, and a lot of people want pictures of this, but we obviously don't bring people down here, but if you want to see it, it's the door of the cupboards here in the Dutch cabin, and every member of Radio Monique and other Dutch people who have been on board the Ross Revenge broadcasting have actually signed the door with the dates that they signed the door. I bet there's some names here you'll recognise. So, fabulous piece of history. We had a similar one on the Mi Amigo, actually, on uh, the cabins down in the Mi Amigo, which had a number of people, well, in fact, a lot of people had signed the door, so uh, an idea that the Dutch actually did for themselves. But there we go, the spacious Dutch cabin on board the Ross Revenge. Right, okay, I thought just as uh, a third cabin to show you, I'll show you my cabin. It was always my cabin, actually, when I was out at sea with the Ross Revenge when we were in the Knock Deep, and when I do the Radio Caroline North broadcast, so I'm using exactly the same cabin. The only difference is, because I'm a little bit older now, I used to, it's, a, it's actually a two-man cabin, but it's always been a single man, because nobody wants to share a cabin with me. Marvellous stuff. I used to always sleep in the top bunk and have the bottom bunk as a storage. Now being a bit older, I sleep in the bottom bunk and use the top bunk as a storage. Apart from that, it's easier for Bella, my dog, to jump in. The electric skews um, a little bit of a mess because uh, we're just packing up to get ready to go ashore from uh, the Radio Caroline North weekend. But again, very spacious, cosy cabin. Again, radiators. As you can see, when I say it's a storage, it is. Uh, we've got all the Christmas decorations on the top there. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the top on the top bunk but again we have under cabin lighting as well so we can read or whatever we want to do there we go so we've got every, every single one of them have got a little bed light as well so radiator so always nice and warm clock stu studio monitoring as well so we can hear what's going on with the radio station and an area to sit so the cabin, all cut the covers as well, marvellous. So they're the cabins on the Ross Revenge. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to uh, stay updated with what we're doing, don't forget and pass it on as well. It's uh, on YouTube, at Radio Caroline Official. Okay, so that's the Dutch cabin. Let's go along and uh, I'll make our way up again.
Well, this is my cabin, and uh, sometimes it has to be said. Oh, lucky so, this is my cabin, and very cosy it is as well. Watch <laughs> out, Bella. Bella! Watch out, Bella! Oh, Bella, what are you up to? Yeah, right on cue. Never work with animals or children. Bella's both, aren't you? <laughs> so, here we go. I can show you exactly what the old uh, bunks look like. <laughs> or oh, maybe not, because the bulb's gone. <laughs> 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 